Can I measure the scale speed of my model trains and why might I want to do that? The answer to the title question is yes you can and I'll come on to why you might want to do it later. I've worked out a formula that will allow you to do just this if you have a digital stopwatch or a mechanical one that also displays hundreds of seconds, a calculator, a piece of string and a tape measure. Sounds simple doesn't it? Many online formulas require you to measure speed over a scale 1000 feet, which would be 401 centimetres in OO gauge. Not everyone has that amount of track, or can get to it easily, so I've used just 4 feet or 121.92 centimetres of our OO gauge track. So here we go with the process. Take your tape measure and measure 4 feet of track, or take your string and exactly measure out 4 foot of that. Cut the string exactly, and make sure it's not too springy. Now lay the string on your sleepers near the middle, mark the starting point, hold down the string as you gently lay it out across the middle of your track. When you get to the far end, you will have measured four foot of track, even on curves. Mark this point as well. I've used two small packing crates as you can see here. Now you have a start and finish point. Stopwatch in hand, get your train running. The instant the front of the train passes the starting point, start the stopwatch. Just the same, the instant the front reaches the end point, stop the stopwatch. Now, to work out the speed of your train. Key into your calculator 207.2727 and divide that by your stopwatch reading. For those interested, here's the maths behind the calculation. Pause your video to have a read. So other than curiosity, why might you want to know the real world speed of your model trains? It can add a sense of realism, to see your train running at a prototypical speed. Don't forget loose coupled freight trains ran at 25 miles an hour maximum, especially if they had a tanker wagon with no star on it. So you can now see what that would look like. You might be surprised just how slow it was. Some locomotives, such as our Class 08 Shunter, had a maximum speed of just 20 miles an hour, and in many cases 15. So you can now have fun trying to get your Class 08 running at its top speed. Of course, you can now check to see how fast your express trains are running. I have to say that it turns out I like to see them running past at between 30 and 40 miles an hour. Who knew? I thought they were going faster. I hope this has been interesting and will help you get more from your model trains. Take care now.